Outbreak's first main quest is perhaps of the most challenging here in Cold War, so let's show you how it's done. Alright, first things first, we are indeed using the M16. I'm also using Aether Shroud, which I will be using for the boss fight. You are going to want to have subtitles enabled, and you have the first three rounds here in Outbreak to get geared up as much as possible. And luckily on round one, we have this objective, the side objective, but I'm actually going to wait to complete this for later because this objective will always reward you with an aether wrench which increases your weapons rank so instead i'm going to take a look at my mini map and we're going to mark this location because that is going to give us a free perk all right after a short little trip we are finally here this objective is going to be a radio and it's going to spawn in a boss zombie somewhere. Just take a look at your surroundings and wait for a very obvious, ominous portal to open up. I believe that's that guy. And you can always check your mini map for this icon right here. And there they are. It looks like we have a megaton. But luckily, we're on round one, and this M16 is pretty darn good. And there's an insta-kill, which, fun fact, actually makes you do even more damage to boss zombies. Look at that. Very good. And here's our free perk. Let's see. And we got Elemental Pop, which is not bad. We are indeed playing Outbreak, so always try to loot the chest for, hey, perfect example, we've got free armor right there. And as luck would have it, we got a free perk, but that's Elemental Pop, which we already have, so... Oh well. And of course, if you find the Wonder Fizz machine, I always recommend Jug or whatever perk you feel most comfortable getting first. Sometimes it's Deadshot, maybe it's Quick Revive, who knows? And I just found some intel. That's cute. And I think this is one of the newest objectives here in, in uh, Outbreak, the transport. I think all I got to do is drive around, defend this truck a little bit. Should be pretty easy. While this is harvesting, obviously you want to collect as many points and kill as many zombies as possible, as well as, you know, defend the actual objective. Try to go for those headshots, get as many points as you can. All right, that's all done. All right, round two. Here we go. And we just got to drive to this launch site. Once we're here, I think all we got to do is get these guys and we actually have a really cool specialist ability now we can pop these guys that's right and load in one canister and the second canister and that should be objective complete very nice outbreak has some pretty cool moments so then i'm gonna activate this anomaly and with everything here i'm going to pack a punch my gun and in a weird choice i am going to put death perception on and i'll tell you why in a second but we are actually also going to upgrade our weapon here, our M16 to green, because we're actually gonna go back and do this objective here. So death perception actually helps us get this actually uh, done a little bit easier because you can actually see through walls and you can kind of see where all these crystals are. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. How do I suck at this already? Let's see, is that, oh, nope, it's on the other side here. Uh, and we got that complete. And now because we've upgraded our M16 already, this, it's going to upgrade it again to blue, which is awesome. And also death perception is just really awesome because any salvage you find is bonus salvage and salvage is like everywhere in outbreak. <laughs> Overall, not a bad round one. So let's see what the next round has for us. Now here on zoo, we're going to take a look and we're actually going to mark this objective right away. Anytime you see this helicopter, go after it right away. Go ahead, ignore everything. This helicopter is the most important objective here an outbreak as soon as you get close take it down quickly as you can it will leave it'll give you a good amount of time though and there it is this is huge check this out look at this look at how much salvage this gives you look at that it's insane and because we have death perception this is going to get us so much more salvage too Look at how much salvage we have now. That's insane. And it even gave us a death machine, which is exactly what I wanted to. And one of my favorite perks to get is obviously Deadshot. And while we're here, let's go ahead and complete this objective. All right, looks like we got a Mangler. No matter, this M16 is fire. Ooh, a grappling gun. And this should be the last little bit of this objective. Very good. Now, this is a side objective you can see on the minimap right now that if you're low on points, this is phenomenal for it there you go look at all those points and then you can follow it all around the map it's gonna 
be a long chase, but it's really good for points. And one of the best things about Outbreak is the grappling gun because it speeds up traversal so quickly. And just like that, it gives you even more points, some more kill streaks if you want, and some more drops. I'll be honest, I forget what this objective actually gives you, so we're gonna do it. I know it's really good for points because it spawns in a whole heap of zombies that you can kill. Ooh, perfect double points, I'll take that, because as soon as we end this, I think it'll give us some bonus points. Maybe, maybe, let's see. Yeah, I did, look at that, 4,000 points just for completing this event. Very nice. Ooh, there's level two armor. Ooh, it gives us a chalice. That's right, it's a free pack-a-punch. I'd say that was worth it. It is worth noting that right here in this corner of the map, this is where the super Easter egg is found. You can make this pack. And you can see I can get an epic loadout weapon right here. So if you're having trouble with Legion, this would be a fantastic way to go about it because any Aether Wrench, if you have a purple rarity weapon, is gonna make it a gold legendary rarity weapon. I'm going to yet again pack a punch my weapon to level two, and we're gonna upgrade our weapon to purple rarity. And I'm actually gonna get Mule Kick here. I was debating between Stamina Up and PhD just to move around the map faster, and PhD is actually pretty fun, but I'm going with Mule Kick because we have all of this salvage, and so when we get a crafting station and when we craft our equipment, it's going to make us craft double the amount of equipment. And it'll make it so that there's a chance that when I use a piece of equipment, like the grappling gun, I don't use a charge. But now that we have a purple rarity weapon, we are going to go to this side objective. Once again, you can see the crystal right there. And we're going to get ourselves, hopefully get ourselves, this upgrade. Oh my goodness, look at the luck at the Casimir drop. Actually, no, I'm going to leave that because I want to craft that for you beautiful people. So here we go. There's this guy and right here. Very good. And with this wrench, we have a gold weapon on round two. I'm also going to grab myself some more grappling guns and I'm going to put cryo freeze on my M16 and we're going to go to round three. Now, round three is where things start to get interesting. You can start this round just like any other round, doing all the side objectives, getting points, ranking up all of your player character. And look at that, we have another crystal objective, so why not? There we go. And I guess I can rank up this FFAR. And with my points, I'm going to get some PhD now. So in this Easter egg, we are actually looking for this type of radio, but do you see it on my minimap? If you can see it on your minimap, this is the wrong radio. This is a side quest Easter egg radio. Do not use that for the main quest. Besides, we need to do this side quest first. And another free perk. Also, this thing, this is for Outbreak's second main quest. Do not go into that unless you're doing the second main quest. And here we have an Orta side quest. This is also great for drops, maybe wonder weapons, but it's also just pretty darn fun. Perhaps the best thing about Outbreak is the fact that you really get to decide your own style of play. If you want to take all of your time and do all of these side quests and kill all of these things, you can do that. But if you want to get right down to it, you can do that too. You really just want to try to keep your distance from Orta because as you just saw, he'll swipe attack you as much as he can. There you go. You want to avoid that. You can jump over it too if you can. That ground attack you can jump over pretty reliably. And as he does this yell, he has critical damage in his face. And just like that, we got some extra bonus points. We have some gold tier weapons, a max ammo kill streak. So yeah, especially on an earlier round, this is very much worth it. I'm actually gonna pick up this Craig Six. And then at tier three, you just finish the objective like normal. And for us, it's a thrilling escort objective. I think I did that without getting the rover hit. That's pretty cool. So once you've done the main objective on round three, you're actually going to go into a website and look for one of the radio locations on whatever map you're playing on. I will link the website that I'm using in the description, but you're going to be looking for this type of radio. And like I said, it's not the one that's marked on your mini map. This is just within the map itself. Go ahead and interact with it and collect the intel apparently. This is going to spawn in that feedback noise and this is why you need subtitles on. This is kind of like a little mini wave here you have to defend. Oh, the intel's there. Man, I'm finding all the intel here. Active static noise six. I don't know if you saw that in there, but active static noise six is what we need to tune three other radios to. And again, on that website, it shows the locations of these little smaller radios. They're very close to this radio, and all you need to do is switch the amplifier signal until you see whatever number it is. It's six for me, it could be different for you, but as you're doing this, 
you're probably going to get, oh, well, actually, maybe not in this one. Yeah, there it is, amplifier number six. And you hear a little quote from Maxis. But there is a chance as you're doing these radios that you are going to have to survive another lockdown. For example, here, you see that feedback, feedback, feedback. That is another lockdown. All you need to do is kill the zombies. It's not that intense. It's actually pretty good for points. And once it's done, you just go back to the radio and switch that to six. So that's two radios done. We just need one more. And what the heck? I got the points. We're going to pack a punch level three this m16 and as strange as this is i actually need this radio <laughs> in order to uh to do this right here but just don't go in here oh man nothing terrible happens when you go in there it just launches you across the map so i don't want that to happen right now <laughs> all right and we should be good once we've done that i believe we return to the main radio and we listen to the full signal and we get some essence as well as this beacon listening device. So like Max has said, we're going to take that device and go to the beacon. Same deal as before, rank up what you can. I'm actually going to get my tier three of armor. And for the fun of it, I'm going to put Shatter Blast on my FFAR because maybe mid boss fight, there's a lot of enemies. So I might want to use Shatter Blast to take care of them. But now we're at the beacon. We can actually make a phone call to Maxis. So after that quote, you can progress and warp to the next round like normal. And what do you know? We have another helicopter so you know exactly what i'm gonna do we are gonna chase after it and just like that that helicopter is done collect all the salvage now the twist at this round of outbreak is the fact that we're actually looking for a monkey statue Oh my goodness, look at how lucky we just got. I'm gonna switch out my Krig for this. Oh wow, that is very, very lucky. <laughs> but as always, keep doing side quests on this round before we get to the actual Easter egg step. For example, I just got another Aether Wrench and right here we can fully rank up our FFAR. And I'm gonna do this one again for a chance at a Pack-a-Punch tier. And we got a Chalice, very good. Ooh, and a Legendary Armor, that would have been nice. Let's do our main objective here. This is one of my favorite objectives. It gets really intense in the higher rounds. And I'm gonna opt to pack a punch this DIE uh, twice. And now we need to find the monkeys. Once again, using that same website, it shows you all the locations and all the maps of all of the monkeys. It may seem super tedious when looking at it in a guide or something, but playing it, it's really not that bad. And here's an example of what a monkey looks like. Now, the monkey that we want is actually going to have an M for Maxis next to it, which this one doesn't appear to have. But you shoot it and you can find out, nope, that's a dud. There's another one. I don't see an M, so I don't think that's the right one. Once again, here's another monkey. I don't see an M next to it, so I don't think, nope, that's not the right one. So there are four monkeys in each area, and apparently I chose the wrong one three times. Also, I'm finally going to grab some stamina up so that way I don't take any fall damage. And finally, in this alleyway you can see that's what the m looks like right there and that is going to get us a film reel or slides i guess now we need to find a projector for these slides which as you guessed it is different for every single map so use the link in the description to find out where exactly your projector is going to be for your game i promise you it's not that bad but mine is right here. This is all just dialogue. She's gonna talk a lot. You're going to need to advance the slide a good couple times. There's once, here's twice, and I think that's it. You can advance the slides anyway, just kind of see the pictures and stuff, which is actually pretty cool if you are interested in that sort of thing. But we can go to the anomaly and go to the next round now. And before we go there, I'm going to actually buy some Casimir mechanisms as well as let's go with molotovs and if i didn't already have one i would definitely pick a death machine or a war machine depending on your personal preference i'm also going to get quick revive but that is also a personal preference we are going to have some time before we actually enter in the final area of this easter egg so don't be too nervous but let's get to it round Five. Now, if you've done everything correctly, the game will always put you in Ruka on round five. Unless, of course, you were unlucky that you got Ruka at round four. Now, the cool thing about this is that the only objective, I mean, there's side objectives too, but there is no main objective other than the main Easter egg. That being said, I'm still going to do the side objectives for as many points as I can get so I can hopefully pack punch tier three this amazing D.I.E. Wonder Weapon. It is worth mentioning, very worth mentioning, that I believe Chopper has a video saying that the Legion boss fight actually spawns in 
more heavy enemies if you have like a wonder weapon, a ray gun, or a DIE. Now, I've never done this before, so we're actually going to find out today if that's true. But if I can do it with a lot of boss enemies, you guys can certainly do it without any. And just like that, we have all of our perks now, and we have a ray gun. So doing these side objectives might be worth your time, depending on your comfort level, of course. And this only got me a silver chalice, which is unfortunate. I was hoping for a gold one. All right, this is as good as we're going to get. So let's head on over to the main objective. More intel. Well, <laughs> <laughs> as soon as you step into here and activate this en elevator, you can't come back. But don't worry, there is everything you need down in here. And this is the best part of the Easter egg. Everything so far has been super tedious, but this is where it gets fun. This area used to be full of super sprinters, but they actually nerfed it to make it a lot more approachable. So the first thing you're going to do is go up one of these things. You're in one of these... Uh, I don't know what you call these reactor shafts or areas. You need to come up here and you need to just go to the opposite one. I believe it's A. You start at D, you go down to A, you fall all the way down. Woohoo! And in this room here, you can lift the lock down and we're going to get a cool little cutscene. So we need to find the launch keys. And there are three fun little side quests to do this. And the first one is actually, I think, pretty hard. You come in here and all of these things are like mimics. You actually want to go all the way down here and interact with this guy. And uh, I'm just gonna pop my Aether Shroud because psh, I can. And so I'm just gonna try to kill this guy as quickly as possible because I think once you kill this guy, all the other ones die. Oh, maybe not. I'll throw a little thing right here. Gives me, give me some time, kill this guy, and we are all good. Use whatever can, whatever you can to your advantage there. That is not too bad. Where is that key? Oh, I found it. It just wasn't popping up on the ground. I just held interact there and I found the key. It wasn't glowing, but it was right here where that mimic died. So the next key is going to be found in the B facility. And what we have to do, we actually have to go to this console over here if we ever have the time and interact with this harvester. Luckily, these silos are circular, so we can actually just keep going around if we need the chance. So with this B facility, you have to shoot down these crystals and collect these smaller crystals. And then you just have to go back to this thing and drop these guys. It takes actually quite a bit for you to deposit them, so it's kind of pretty tedious. Go ahead and look all throughout this facility here. There's stuff in here. There's stuff at the top. There's this corner, which has like a whole heap of them. And these crystals do recharge. So don't be afraid to like shoot all of them that you see. And yes, zombies are indeed infinite. So it's not too useful to kill all of the zombies at any point in time. Just try to work around them as best you can. Obviously kill them if they're giving you trouble. And they're not just on the ground floor. These crystals, you can go all the way up here to the top floor and you can find more while those bottom ones are recharging there's some more on this wall up here looks like these guys have recharged down here nice and easy oh and these guys recharged all right very good i think this ought to be it now once you've deposited all that this thing is going to act sort of like another outbreak main quest you're going to need to take this canister go all the way up and we're going to head on into the d section of the facility all you really need to do is find out where in the facility or which silo has this jellyfish creature head on over to this area stand in this grass and then pop your ethereum upgrade and it should start teleporting you within the jellyfish and inside you should see a, a person that has one of the keys in here and there is the key pick it up and you'll give it the ethereum canister and it'll drop you down now that just leaves the a section the a section has a monkey that you're looking for Ooh, and it's actually right there that ethereal monkey right there we're gonna go to here and we're gonna find one of this essence traps that we have back in this corner Similar little circle outline door room thing that we found the Aether Crystals in in the other room. But we have this essence trap now and it has a banana next to it. So we're actually going to throw that over there and wait for it to jump down on top of it. Now it has to be on the ground and it's in range. You double tap F or whatever interaction button and target captured. Very nice. So we're going to collect that and that is the third key. So now this last final sequence is going to be the boss fight. So before before we leave here, and probably before even this final step, you want to go to the crafting table, 
craft whatever stuff you want. Like I said, I want those guys. And I see that I have 30,000 points, so I'm going to get this third tier Pack-a-Punched because I want to see what it does. And we are going to go to the same position in each of these facilities and try the launch key. As if it says incorrect key confirmation sequence, that means you've plugged it into the wrong one. I believe it is random, so it doesn't start with D, so we're going to go try B. Now, I believe there's a little cooldown sequence between incorrect tries, so you might just need to survive a little bit longer longer. All right, B. All right, so B's the first one. Now we're going to go and try another silo and see if that's the right one. We're just going to go right into A. There is a little timer. Let's try this. All right, I believe A was the correct sequence. We're going to go straight to D now, and we've got this one. So D as last. All right, we got all the coordinates. We're looking good, and now all we have to go is back to the main building. Oh boy. Hey <laughs> guys. I'm going to go up through this staircase, and this is all what you've been waiting for. We're going to interact, hopefully interact with this door. We need to clear the obstructions here and exit this door. Oh, yep, very good. I'll take all this. And here is the legion my palms are sweaty <laughs> so cool this is awesome all right this m16 better start working you want to shoot this guy in the chest until he says immune and then he's gonna teleport over one of these silos now something that i just learned is that while he's over these silos you really can't do all that much to him he's never gonna break down near these silos so when he's over the silos in the corner like this Feel free to focus on the bad guys right here. Feel free to focus on the horde. Always try to pepper him with shots as much as you can to try to weaken him. But as soon as he's over a street like this, go ahead and pop a Casimir or something and just unload on him. Now, as soon as he does that, pop your specialist or whatever uh, field upgrade you have. I have the Aether Shroud because it gets me two charges and go to town on these orbs. I'm sure you've seen this before. Oh boy. Get your armor and ammo back from right here. And we're gonna see how well this DIE does against this. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Pay attention because the play space will change depending on where this guy is located. There he is again. I'm gonna pop my Aether Shroud. We're gonna go to town on the same little ball here and it should pop here pretty soon. There it is and go straight to another one. Get in whatever damage you can and get back to the horde. Now, you want to use your equipment as much as you can. Try not to die like that. <laughs> it's a little overwhelming, but while he's over here, I'm going to try to focus on managing these manglers and all these things that are really big threats, trying to get my armor to not go down as much as possible. There we go. We got a good brain rot on that mangler. I see a lot of bad guys. I'm going to pull out my death machine real quick and just take care of them. Very good. Get me some breathing room, get my M16 back out, get some armor shards going and back doing damage to this guy. This timer isn't that big of a deal unless you're doing something really fundamentally wrong. Just kind of zigzag get closer to this guy as much as you can go around these facilities don't stay in the main wall we've got two aether shrouds back that's awesome oh he's down again awesome we're gonna go back to doing damage here try to get as close as you can with this m16 look at that beautiful we got one more phase to go and we're nearly there final one we got five minutes left left we're gonna use this die again whoo there we go do it again oh that's beautiful look at all the armor and stuff on the ground that's beautiful this is really intense you have to be very comfortable with uh training around these enemies don't stay in one place keep circling around use your molotovs use your equipment Ooh, insta kills are really really good for those boss zombies but i see it here oh my goodness boss zombies are here for your resources kill the boss zombies for ammo kill him for armor take your time all right he's over this street we're gonna try to focus fire on him very good aether shroud we're gonna move up here as close as we can where's that orb any minute now come on let's get it let's get it come on get him get him get him get him almost baby one more time one more time that is all right we've got plenty of time here do not worry we've got one more aether shroud this is the longest it's taken me to actually beat this guy so this is a perfect example of trying not to freak out don't overthink it just do the best you can whoop and don't get cor cornered <laughs> all right here it is this is it last time aether shroud gonna get this orb get as close as we can almost there there it is and we've done it we did it just like that with plenty of time to spare well done this really is unlike any other easter egg in cold war the amount of overwhelming challenge that there is during that boss fight is overwhelming at times. 
Use that play space. It's a very, very wide play space. Don't confine yourself to that main intersection. Go around those buildings and see where you're capable of going. Use those Aether Shrouds. Those times where he's over the hatch, get your Aether Shrouds back. Kill the big boss enemies for more shields, armor, and ammo. Keep persisting. You're gonna get it. Great job. And if you're having trouble with other main quests, check out this video and stay beautiful.